The Thompson Institute is a brain institute and one of the big programs, research programs that we're interested in is in youth mental health. And that is a natural segue into the frontiers for young minds because not only can they be part of the research, but they can see it from a different perspective as the researcher perspective, if you like, as part of the review process. Frontiers for Young Minds is an open access science journal where researchers write papers for young people, but most importantly, the papers themselves are reviewed by young people. They essentially become contributors in a very important science process. We did a call out for papers all around the topic of different ways of treating and helping people with mental health concerns. We selected five for the live review, one of which was The Physics of MRI by Catherine Broadhouse. What makes this paper especially interesting is it translates the complexity of MRI and neuroimaging technology into a way that's accessible for young people to understand. I was a little bit nervous at the beginning because it's very different to a standard journal submission where you get reviewed by your peers and it's quite hard to, to write your work for kids and you actually have to really understand it. So that was a really valuable experience actually, it made me um, realise that I did understand what I was talking about, um, but uh, it really made me think actually how to explain this. It was really interesting to read like actual research kind of thing and how we actually get to almost mark their work and how it's like a once in a lifetime almost experience so like why not get into it kind of thing. It'll be really interesting to extend learning from what we're already doing and apply it in like an actual field that's really happening with real kind of writers. The live review is something that I'd never heard about, I've only ever seen peer review but more importantly it lets me see kids learning stuff outside the classroom, applying it and seeing real world science, giving them possible direction for the future for their own um, studies and they have fun. Instead of answering questions out of a textbook and just writing them in a book, we're actually helping other people make decisions about their own work and reviewing other people's work to help them. Usually young people are at the receiving end of research. Being part of the review process gives them the opportunity to be involved in the cutting edge of science, to ask critical questions and shape the way that we're doing different experiments and different research projects. We put a lot of effort into this process. The five papers are all excellent. The young reviewers are excellent. So I'm confident that it will go extremely well. excited about it, they're um, a bit nervous, but yeah, and we were also a bit excited, and I think the mentors are a bit nervous as well. Um, a little nervous, I just don't want to stuff up or just forget what I'm about to say. I'm really excited to meet the kids and see what they think of my paper, see the kind of questions that they're going to ask me, um, but I am nervous about the delivery, uh, hopefully I can explain it in a way that they understand and they get engaged with it. It's quite beneficial really, like to just have a, to have a practical thing up outside all the theory we do in class. Or something. All of the delegates here at the conference have mentioned how excited they are to see the live review and they're packing into the ballroom as we speak. I'd now like to welcome Catherine to the stage and Catherine Broadhouse is going to talk to us about the physics of MRI. So the brain is the home of the mind and it can be thought of as a network, very similar to how uh, friends communicate on social media, sending messages between each other via their phones well, we found it quite interesting and the author linked it to like like working like a social media network. Thinking about that and how MRI can kind of pick that stuff up is like really interesting and cool. Now, Lachlan and Matthew, what did you think of Catherine's paper on the physics of MRI? We have agreed to accept with language revisions, um, but other than that, it was really good. I think it went well. Um, I think both the audience and the kids enjoyed the talk, so that was really good. Um, got a few laughs out of the audience, so that's always reassuring. And the fact that they accepted my paper was pretty positive as well. Yeah, yeah, so it was actually really fun. It was interesting learning about everything. And it was just a good day out.